Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today and on a Saturday. And it's a video, but it's not the first Saturday in the month. No, I am showing you some postal swaps. So along with my team, um, we get together every time a new catalogue comes out and we do a postal swap between us and we go into groups of... Oh, hello, Barry. <laughs> into groups of varying sizes. This time around we went as a group of uh, seven. So you make six identical projects, swap them away or in the post, post them out to the people in your group and those same six people then send cards or projects back to you. So I wanted to show mine on video, particularly as I had a few more than expected. So I'm going to start with Zoe. So lovely Zoe <laughs> sent me a great big parcel of goodies for me and for my boys. And so I set my team challenges quite frequently and um you know their craft challenges or business challenges and then I select somebody at random I don't choose the best in inverted commas I just choose somebody at random because for me it's just important that people are getting involved and twice since um the end of last year Zoe's name has been called by my children because they just go through and they go oh that person or that number or whatever it is so she sent all these goodies to the boys and my swap and we all have plenty of hot chocolate and Lindor. And then this is her swap. So this is actually my first look at it. Oh, that's beautiful. This is the new hybrid die and embossing folder. Gosh, that isn't that gorgeous? That is so pretty. I don't know if you're picking up the sparkle there. Just lovely. And so she's given a recipe of everything that she's used here so art in bloom um, bundle and the meadow dies for this little tag down here how fabulous so that was from zoe was very nice and look she stamped the envelope and then who else was my, obviously i don't remember who was my group or who wasn't who was this one so this was tina this was an extra one so tina is tina's creative box um with a k and she's one of my most amazing German demonstrators on my team. And we haven't seen each other, obviously, this year or last year, which is the first time since she joined. She comes over to our team events in the UK and she always pops me a little extra swap in the post. So that's really, really sweet. So thank you, Tina. And then Leah was part of my team. How cute is that with the different colour? That's I want to, <clears throat> I want to say it's a dry stone wall. I know it's not because that's obviously that's cement in the background, but I love that she's done different colours. That's gorgeous. And then who's this one? This one is from Jane. So Jane on my team. Let me get her detail up. Well, they're all on my team. Craft with Jane.co.uk. She's got a very busy um, Pinterest page, actually. That's lovely. There we go. Oh, look. Oh, ooh. I wasn't expecting it to fold there. That's a bit swish. Ooh, Jane, I hope you've got details on how you make that. That's fabulous. And she's also done the envelope. And again, her recipe. So it's the pansy dies, as you can see, the pansy patch sweet. That's really lovely. What a clever way to hinge that there. Oh, and she's glued it at that point. That's really clever. Oh, I might have to case that. That's the idea behind swaps, is that you get given ideas that you might not have expected. This one I know is from my lovely Hillary. So Hillary is one of my Dutch demonstrators. And she gave, she sent me an extra one just for me, which is very sweet. And she says inside, the card front says it all. You are a true inspiration, which is such a sweet thing to say. So lovely. And this is the... Beauty of the Earth suite back here and here. I love it. So this one is Suzanne. So Suzanne is hullabaloo. And you'll see her on YouTube and on Facebook. She does a live. I want to say it's a Friday and I want to say it's 7 o'clock. Might be 7.30. And her recipe, because I don't know this stamp set. Oh, this is it. <laughs> she She's included her recipe with pictures. Stella birthday cling stamp set is this one. And I guess she's been fussy cutting. So that's really sweet. I don't know this stamp set. I might have to investigate it. Okay, who's this next one from? So this is Natalie Arn Arnold and she's Crafty Honey Pots. And she's matched 
her stamping on her recipe. So you can see it's the peach sweet, but this is also um, the give it a world eyes. So if I can get hold of that and twist it, I'm a bit fumbly fingers here today. As you move it round, you can change what it says. And that, I'm a bit hopeless. So, oh, I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> Sweet as a peach. Oh, no, that is the right way. And then I'm just trying to twist it, but without... <laughs> I'm seriously fumbly fingers. I do need to cut my nails. A sweet friend. How lovely. I love that. That's really gorgeous. But I haven't used these dies, so that's really good to know. And it, she's got here round and square brads, which I guess are hiding cleverly behind that peach. Brilliant. Okay, so this one is from Alison. So Alison is over in France. And she's um, Latelia Dallison. <laughs> I can't even speak. Latelia Dallison, I think is how you would say that. So that is very sweet. And her recipe is the Pierce Bloom dies. Very pretty. And then this paper. Has, oh, it's the pattern play paper. There we go. And then the new wing colours. Brilliant. Lovely. And... This one is Tracy, my lovely Tracy Walkton. So Tracy, whenever she comes to our events, her son comes with her and I always like to do um, a swap with him where I can. And this has come about because he would always make a swap or a gift or something for me. Um, and it took me a couple of events to to um, cotton on to the fact that he was participating too. So, yeah. And I miss seeing them all. Oh, it's really hard. been so hard. But I love this. This is beautiful. Her recipe says, elegantly said stamp set. And I see, I didn't recognise that at all, but I think that's because I'm totally swayed by the paper. That's beautiful with this block. Yeah, so this would have been done with a, a block, maybe this size. Yeah, so an H block. I'm taking a guess, but she's probably put ink on it and maybe spritzed it with water to then press down. I will ask. Or you can ask, you can find her. And then I have another one here. This is Fiona. And she's covered a beautiful... No, oh, look at that. That's too cute with the penguins. So she's made a notebook. So she's not just covered one. She's actually made it completely. These are the great sort of um, traveller's notebooks. I couldn't think what they were called. Um, but I love that. I haven't got the patience to actually make a notebook from start to finish. So I might, <laughs> I might commission Fiona to do that for me. But isn't that fun with those penguins on and then my last one is a pouch that's from Karen McDonald who is Cory Cory paper crafts yeah and she's gone for pansy petals as well and where's the stamp set friends are like seashells you collect them along the way okay don't know that stamp set so let me open this up and take a peep you can tell I've not opened it because there's no way I'd have tied that bow and then, oh, there's a little notebook in here. Everything is going to be all right. That's lovely. So she's made that pouch perfectly for the notebooks. And yeah, I'm never getting that ribbon back in there, at least not with a, a bow tied. Not a decent bow anyway. So those are, are, these are my postal swaps that I received. On, I think it was Tuesday this week, I showed the swap that I sent out. So obviously I don't have one here anymore. But it's lovely. My team is so sweet to have included me, even though I wasn't part of their swap group. They have included me and sent extras. So I should only have six cards here and I've got way more than six. So there's eight, nine, ten, eleven. So thank you very much to the five extra ladies who popped stuff in the post to me. I love seeing everything. The, the brilliant thing about swaps is, I mean, obviously we do them in person. So for me, I see it as about networking and meeting other demonstrators as much as it is bringing home somebody else's beautiful creation. But it is inspiration for us and we all need inspiration and ideas and the like. So, but it's a real privilege and pleasure to share all of these with you too. Anyway. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon.
Bye.